Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Love here. Um, homework 210. Uh, these are two problems on power and work. Okay, the first one says that we're looking at um, an elevator that has a, uh, <clears throat> a mass of 1500 kilograms, lift, lifted a distance of 40 meters in six seconds. Uh, what is the power rating of the motor in watts? And then it asks for a conversion to horsepower. So I always think it's pretty helpful to, uh, to draw a little picture. So if we have an elevator, that's the box, um, and it's getting lifted up, um, we have um, some information here, right? We have the fact that the, uh, the mass is 1,500 kilograms. We have a distance of 40 meters, and we have a time um, of 6 seconds. Um, so there's actually, uh, the best way to do this is to use the, uh, the standard work and power equations. Work um, is force times distance, and power is work divided by time. Those are the two things that we want to use. Um, the one trick here is the fact that the, um, that the power, or the work equation rather, needs a force. And uh, as it is right now, we don't have a force. Um, the way you get that is you use the mass to calculate the force of gravity on the object. So quite simply, that works out to be this, right? The, um, the force of gravity is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity. Um, that would equal 1,500 kilograms times 10 newtons per kilogram. That's a constant. That's usually given. Um, so the force of gravity ends up to be 15,000 newtons. Okay, so now we have this force, um, so it's pretty easy to calculate the work. Um, so as we move on here, the, uh, the work is simply the force, which is 15,000 newtons times the distance traveled, and the distance is 40 meters. That means the work is equal to 15,000 times 40. Um, 15,000 times 40, um, or that's 600,000 newton meters. Okay, which is also equal to a joule. Okay, so that's the work that's being done. Um, now, power is simply the work which is 600,000 newton meters over the time, which is six seconds. So the power works out to be uh, 100,000 kilowatts, or I'm sorry, 100,000 newton meters per second, which is also equal to 100,000 watts. Um, and now the, the problem itself said that we should, um, let's see, it says that we should have the, uh, the answer also in horsepower here. So to, uh, to get that answer, we know that there's 700 watts equals 1 horsepower. So in order to, uh, to get that, you simply divide 100,000 by 700 watts per horsepower. And uh, when you do that, you get an answer of power is 143 horsepower. Okay, and that's the final answer for the second part of the equation. Um, so this was homework 210, problem number one.